Hey guys, and welcome to my next reaction to The Clone Wars. So I really enjoyed the first two episodes to this story arc. I like the focus on Ahsoka, um, and I like the focus on characters that I don't really know the fate to. You know what I mean? Like, I, I like that um, not every single person in this story has a lot of plot armor. Or <laughs> you know what I mean. Anyway, um, I'm really excited to continue. Let's get into it. Okay, oh, oh! have done little to stop them. Oh. We will not negotiate with terrorists. Her brother Saw is also part of the group, as well as the fugitive criminal Lux Von Terry. Why was I not told of this? You just were. Oh, enough. Oh. It's clear this guy's that got sass. I kind of like it. His followers. Bring him in. Oh, no. Here we go. What now? Supporters have begun to publicly. Am I still to believe you are not behind their attack? Oh my god! You must order them to surrender. I have been isolated and alone without visitors, confined to my prison. Again, the will of the people is theirs, not mine. <laughs> I'd be so pissed. We have to break him out somehow. No, we should wait until he's in public, at the execution. That's where they'd expect. Oof. I know. Where are you going? Trust me. Stop! Oh. Let me take care of this. This isn't about you. We can't afford a reckless move right now. Yeah, go write a speech about it. All right. All you right. You have to weigh the risk. Oh, man. I don't know what that, like, I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't know. That's how I, I feel like that's not the best plan. We need a plan. Plans are good. Still, gather everyone to go over the plan. Of course. No. Oh. If they try to rescue the king now, I'm afraid we might lose them. We cannot control their fate. It's just, they're risking their lives to save just one. I feel responsible for them. I know you do, Snips, but remember, purpose must come before feelings. If this experiment is to become an effective strategy, they must learn to survive on their own. Yes, Master Kenobi. I understand. Oh, so good. It's gonna be so hard because you know she just wants to like help and fight, but she can't really. I don't know. Sweetie, I don't know if you're gonna This could be a trap. They're just letting him roam about. My lord. Who are you? Uh. I'm Saw Gerrera. Are you one of the meddlers creating disorder, interfering in the affairs of the throne? Only to restore A your kingship as the rightful ruler. This was all my doing. I opened the door. That's why the Separatists are here. Follow me, sire. Andoran awaits. <laughs> One way shield. Um. Uh oh. Maybe, yeah, I guess it wasn't really a trap, but it's not great right now, so... Uh-oh. I'm afraid I've been instructed to sit this one out. They have Saul. Uh-oh. We have to save him. Yeah! Oh, oh. Everybody's no. getting ready. Oh! That's what Saul would want. What he would expect. And I expect the same from everyone in this room. I know it's a hard choice, but I agree. Purpose must come before feelings. Oh my goodness. Oh, just getting tortured. This is great. 
Oh no. Where are the other terrorists? I feel bad. You pity him. I pity your ignorance. Oh. You can control the people of Onderon, but you won't sustain it against their will. You have strong tactics, but it's unfortunate you cannot calculate a different approach. Oh. I love this guy. Am I supposed to love this guy? I love this guy. Reading him the film, honestly. Love it. We have a duty to protect what's ours, General. A duty once entrusted to you. I thought you depleted your arrogance with Kalani. It replenishes every hour. I am free. Well, you have chosen to become a terrorist. Not a terrorist. A patriot. And resistance is Whoa, terrorist. interesting. Separatists have taken over Onderon because we let them. Oh. I present to you Ramses Dendam. Not as a former king, but as a criminal. Sponsoring terrorist acts oh, against no. the people of Onderon. He will pay for those treasonous deeds with his life. Oh no. Your people will see you into the next world. Oh my goodness. Time to die. Time to die. Wait for my signal. Ready weapons? Wait! Uh, oh boy. <laughs> Separatists will assemble their forces. Count Dooku will want me dead more than well, ever. Well, sure. Sure. Yeah. I knew you couldn't resist a good fight. Am I becoming that predictable? Only to me. No. Will you be able to send some help? That's up to the council, Ahsoka. So probably not. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Why are they looking at us that way? Oh, shit! Oh. We should join the fight down there and take it straight to King Rash. We all want victory, but not at the cost of innocent lives. Yeah. If you will lead our forces, including the royal army. Oh, Stila is shit. now the commanding general. As you wish, my lord. Oh. You and your rebels renewed my faith in myself. Oh boy. Oh boy. Just in case. Oh boy. 
Confederacy. It's not Battle weak. Will the terrorists? Your target lies in the mountains to the east. The army will follow. Leave no survivors. No, I work the man. does it make now? The Separatists know we're involved. I don't disagree with you, Anakin. What if another party was involved? Who in the galaxy would be running around with an extra batch of missiles? Hondo. Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! Oh no! What a mess. <laughs> now, why would a Jedi need to deliver arms illegally? How about I pay you well enough that you just deliver the missiles for me and don't ask any questions? Damn. <laughs> I'm sure I could accommodate your wishes, Master Jedi. We're not giving up yet. Stagger our defenses to the camp. Secure the approach. Stay in small teams. Couldn't be more proud of you, my sister. Oh. I learned from the best. Oh. So sweet. Let's go, General. We wouldn't have made it this far without you. Oh, you sweet. Could you could be my new favorite spy. Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't think so. Paid for? Very handsome. Oh, oh my, look at the guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Gotta go. See you later. We have to get these down to the others. Load them up. I hope they work. There's only one way to find out. I hope they work too. Oh no. Yeah, hurry! Yeah, come in! Oh! 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 There we go. Oh goodness! Not the, not the way to go. Oh boy. Oh. Are you all right, Your Majesty? He almost fell over. Thanks to you. Last one's mine. Oh. oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Okay. We're gonna pull ourselves up. Look! We do a pull up. I'd die, but you know. She seems slightly more capable. You got it, girl. Oh, that's a reach. That's a reach. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, goodness. Oh, Ahsoka! There we I go. Got you. Shoots a 
failed. I need more reinforcements. Really? The rebellion grows with every small victory. Then we are lost. What a man. Oh! Shit. Oh no. Oh no. I shot that gunship down. It crashed into a possession. So, it's not your fault. We all knew what it would take to free Honduras. This has been quite a journey for our Padawan. Stila will be a powerful spirit in their lives. Yes. For all of us. I'm sorry for your loss. Thanks. But it's over now. Let's just leave it at that. And after watching your heroics and the selflessness of the Jedi, I do believe the Republic is the right side to be on. Deneb has appointed me the new Senator of Onderon. I will follow in my mother's footsteps. Oh, that's and I will bring us back to the Republic. The day Onderon became free again! I liked this story. I thought it was, you know, really great to focus on some characters that we don't usually focus on, obviously, as I said. Um, but I, I really, really liked the the heart of this story. Um, being trying to fight for your own freedom, trying to fight for yourselves. It's really interesting. Um, I feel like a broken record saying this a lot, but I I love seeing how how all of this fighting and this you know war can really just trickle down to every single person. You know, even what it kind of stated at the end that um, there's all of these lives that just get you know caught in between these two sides and. You know, at what point do you fight for yourselves? Do you fight for your people? Um, and I really liked that. I liked the characters in this a lot. They were um, people who were caught in some bad situation. You know, especially the... I don't forget his name, but the, the um, general guy with the serious... I mean, he was a general, right? the serious mustache. Um, I really loved him and you could see that he kind of like saw sort of the error of his ways and everything like that and he sort of um, you know realized that he needed to fight for uh, the people, what the people wanted. Um, and and that was a really wonderful moment and, and I really really liked um, I just a lot of the characters and uh, even the former king uh, I I liked the fact that he even was you know admitting faults that he did you know at the when everything uh, I assume around the time where everything was kind of kicking off um, and you have to sort of have allegiance to one side but you also want your your people's best interests at heart and I, I really truly like um, you know a lot of these characters I also loved that um, specifically saw is he's not one note I that I really like that about him you know he's he's not um, because they had the potential to make his character very just like impulsive. I mean, he is, but almost to the point where it's unlikable. You know, he's he's diving headfirst into stuff without thinking or whatever. And they didn't. They made him, um, you know, uh, I feel like they made him a, a really, really great character. Who, yeah, wanted, he, he was, he was more prone to aggression. He was more prone to fighting. Um, I think it's something familiar to him. I think he, he's tired of, you know, getting walked all over and all of that. And I, I really liked that a lot. Um, that was really, truly, um, I just really enjoyed, uh, 
these characters and Stila being a really, really wonderful example as well of, of being a decent leader during all of this going on and, and stepping up to the plate and, um, you know, as, as Ahsoka said, leading by example and everything like that. And it was, it was sad. It, it, that's one of the reasons I, I, I like watching these episodes because I don't know what's going to happen to these characters. So it's a, it's a sad moment when she falls to her death. Um, and it's a bit sudden and shocking, you know, at the, the there's a lot of characters in Clone Wars that I know make it, that I know can, um, you know, that are, aren't, aren't really going to die or anything like that. That doesn't mean I'm not invested in them by any means. Um, there's also, there's so many things that can happen to a character other than, you know, the, the possibility of death. So it, I don't think it completely um, takes away anything. But it is nice every so often to focus on a community, um, a group that... Um, I don't really know what their fates are. I like that a lot. And this was a really interesting... I loved the focus on Ahsoka in this. This was, you know, something that's really difficult for her. And you're, I mean... The slight love triangle aside, right? You know, putting those feelings... Putting that aside. Because that was, sure, that was something. Um, and I talked about that in the last reaction. But the idea that she had to restrain herself and she didn't, you know, um, she's not really allowed to fight their battles for them and how difficult that must be to be around these people, to care about these people, to want to help these people fight, but not be able to do it. Um, when you know you can, when you know you can help, that has had to have been such a big struggle for her. And I'm really proud of her for actually sticking to that. You know, she interfered slightly at the at the execution, obviously. She also, um, you know, um, towards the end, tried to tried to pull up um, both Lux and Stila. And, it, you know, sadly didn't work out. But um, half didn't work out, I guess. But, uh, you know, she she did what she could to, to try to protect and, um, you know, and it was an interesting point uh, with Anakin and Obi-Wan where it's like, Anakin's like, well, they already know that we're there, right? So like Ahsoka has told us that they already know that we're back in these people. We might as well go back them then, you know, and, and I see I hear the kind of frustration with Anakin and all of that too. Um, I, I loved the nuances of all of that, of when you need to step in, when you shouldn't, and, and the reasons why. I, I really liked all of that, and I liked the focus on Ahsoka having to kind of restrain herself and be more of a, of a kind of guidance, which is possibly one of the first time, not entirely, because um, we've had slight examples of it in, in other episodes, but, but one of the first times where she really had to assume a role of being more of a, a mentor, a, a teacher, somebody to guide people, um, which is just another kind of, mo you know, um, progression of her growth as a character, as a Jedi, um, and I, I like that a lot. I like the focus on her and, um, and the fact that they were able, they, they kind of took Obi-Wan and, and Anakin away so that she could fully go through this sort of, this, this growth within the story. I really, really liked that. It was a great first story. I liked it a lot. Um, there was no 3PO, guys. There was no 3PO. I'm gonna write a complaint. There was no 3PO when I wore my 3PO shirt. So, thumbs down for that. But otherwise, I really, really enjoyed it. All right. Um, I think that's about it. If you would like to support me on Patreon or subscribe, I would really appreciate it. But if not, I'm just happy that you are here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.